As state championships fade out, credits roll on the Arkansas high school football season. Before you skip to hoops, let's rewind and recap all of this month's action at War Memorial Stadium. And what better way to kick it off with reigning champ Bryant and North Little Rock. A rematch of last year's state final, the Hornets are out for a repeat and Wildcats are out for vengeance. These schools are only half an hour apart, but they share no brotherly love. It's like brothers playing each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you get madder at your brother and you do your enemy and uh, we compete. North Little Rock slings it early, but Bryant's ball hawks weren't having it. First, Derek Rose on the INT and later Austin Schroeder. Stingy Hornets D early, but the Wildcats would start clicking. Kareem Cotton lets it fly. Braylon battles, battles for the ball. But Bryant's offense would be too much to handle. Eventual game MVP Austin Ledbetter lofts it up, a ball out of the sky lands into the lap of Jake Matters. A couple more Ledbetter touchdown tosses secures a 21-7 Bryant win in a second straight championship. It's the greatest feeling in sports. I, I can't think of anything in the, in the sports realm that would make this more special. On to Class 6A, Searcy and Benton go at it, and this one was a doozy. All Searcy early as Bryce Dixon rolls out and threads the needle. Dixon's second touchdown pass of the first quarter puts the Lions up 14-0. But these Panthers still have plenty of fight in them. Peyton Hudgens connects with Garrett Brown to cut the deficit to seven. Damian Young from a yard out, easy money. Benton threatening as a runner has open field, but Daniel Perry strips it out just before this Panther crosses the plane and recovers. Fast forward to a late fourth down, Searcy up by only a point, and the Lions lock it down. The game's final play is Benton's last shot at a comeback, and it fails. Searcy wins 28-27 and takes its first state title since 1933. A championship 86 years in the making. I mean, there's so many people, uh, great people, great coaches, great players have come through this program, and they never got to this point. And, uh, you know, just win this state championship for them is big. Entering the Class 5A state final, defending champ Little Rock Christian Academy faces Pulaski Academy. These teams met on this same stage last year, and the Warriors came out on top 52-28. For the Bruins, that loss still looms large. Man, it's tough. You get that monster, and everybody wants to feed it, and we lost to one, and it was tough to carry around for a year, and the kids felt really bad, and I felt terrible. I felt like I let the community down. First play of the game is a big one for Pulaski Academy. Braden Brasher throws sideways. Receiver Joe Hyman throws forward. Cooper White on the other end of it, and the trickery sets up the Bruins to strike first. Down a pair of scores early, Little Rock Christian Academy would keep things interesting with a G. Allen pick returned all the way back for six. But things would start brewing for the Bruins. Bratcher hits a backpedaling Merritt Jones. 22-7 Pulaski Academy, and the Bruins seal the deal later. Bratcher to Mason Cobb. Lateral to Joe Hyman. Hyman off to the races. Bruins lead 56-21. Pulaski Academy redeems their loss last year, and they would go on to win 63-21, taking state. And the wait was worth every minute. What the, the awesome part was to look at the kids' faces and see them smile, and then I looked at them and said, was it all worth it? Was 12 months of this worth it? And they all said, yes, sir, just a resounding. So if it's worth it to them, then, it's, then, then we're doing something right. Rolling into Class 4A, another rematch of a 2018 state final. Joe T. Robinson gets another shot at Shiloh Christian. The road to revenge gets off to a bumpy start for Robinson as Shiloh Christian quarterback Eli Reese hits Bo Carson to take the early lead. But from there on out, the Senators would lay down the law. Buddy Gaston goes up and over to P.J. Hall. Senator offense keeps clicking as Gaston finds Martell Nunnally. A nifty one-hander there. Gaston again flings a score, this time to Hunter Smith on the sideline. Robinson would hit the gas in the third quarter, outscoring Shiloh Christian 22-7 and pulling away for the program's first state title since 1980. Man, we've been working for this for 365 days after that, that dev uh, devastating loss we took. We were intense. We, were, we came with intent, and I just like to thank God for that. Awesome. Our community hadn't had one in a long time. And, uh, and just super proud of them. Really happy for everybody in the stands. Had a huge crowd tonight. And uh, gonna be some, some fun night tonight in West Little Rock. Harding Academy bursts into War Memorial Stadium, looking to not only bring a 3A state title back to Searcy, but to achieve perfection. <laughs> Tearing through opponents this season, the unscathed Wildcats are one win away from 15-0. In their way of the program's seventh championship, Osceola. Seminoles running back Dan Newson puts on the moves and then the burners. 
Osceola draws first blood. The Wildcats are quick to pounce back. Stone Sheffield goes up the gut and in. Sight hits a toe-tapping Ty Duggar. Sight snaps, keeps, cuts, scores. Wildcats back on top and back in business. Rattling off 24 unanswered third quarter points helps Harding Academy secure a win. We did it! We did it! Score 51 26. Result Last time Harding Academy hoisted that trophy, 2012. You play 15 games together and you, you play the last one and you happen to win it. Feels really good to give these players, give this school, give this community something that they desperately have wanted and these players have worked for. Saturday afternoon's matchup featured a rematch between 2A state powers, Top Seed Junction City and Fordyce. The Dragons took these teams October meetup, but the Red Bugs of Fordyce would deliver a sting early and when it counted most. Fordyce strikes first. Jaheim Brown lays it right into Trey Hudson's breadbasket. A foot out of bounds puts the ball inside the five, and on the ensuing play, Cordy Shelton finishes the job. Fordyce's Sam Allen strips Jamal Johnson mid-tackle, all green grass in front of Allen, and it's going all the way back. Red Bunch would get rolling in crunch time. Shelton goes airborne for a diving score, and minutes later, Powers past the goal line. That pair of outreach scores puts Junction City's comeback out of reach, icing the game and declaring Fordyce as state champs. The final score of this one, Fordyce 28, Junction City 6. Fitting since it marks the Red Bugs' first state title in 28 years. I look back at some of the pictures of that state championship time. To win for the town and stuff, it's just great. That does it here for Fox 16's wrap up of the 2019 Arkansas High School Football State Championships. Six games of hoisted trophies, rewritten history, and lasting memories. For Fox 16 News, Nick Walters. I, I'm a sign off.